It's important for us to understand people's motivations when they go shopping for an airsoft gun as to what motivates them to buy one type of gun or rifle over another. A lot of folks are just into aesthetics where they just want certain kinds of features or they just want a cool looking futuristic gun. Other people are a lot more practical when it comes to picking an airsoft gun where they want something that they're going to be familiar with. So with that in mind, the most popular gun out there is the Colt M1911 and that's what we're featuring today. The 1911 gets its name from the year that it was adopted by the U.S. military as its standard sidearm. So from 1911 through 1985, this was the standard sidearm for the entire U.S. military. This is the most popular and copied design for any auto-loading pistol ever throughout the entire 20th century. Every branch of the U.S. military has used this, and it's still in use by some spec op operators that prefer the big 45 ACP cartridge. So why is the 1911 so popular with so many operators? Well, first of all, it's a big round that comes out of this gun. And I don't know too many people that have shot a gun that don't appreciate the stopping power of the 45 ACP round. Second of all is the adaptability of the overall design. You can go from the basic bone stock 1911 pistol like this to the fully customized race gun like this and get all the features you want depending on what your mission is and still get the same basic design of a pistol. The most important part that people are looking for is the overall reliability of the gun. This is like the AK-47 of pistols. It's got big sloppy tolerances in it so it can handle mud, dirt, snow, any kind of crap that you put in this gun, it's going to shake off and every time you pull the trigger this sucker is going to go bang and that's what most people are looking for in a pistol. First up is the standard GI issue 1911A1 by KWC. This is a full metal blowback gun that uses CO2 in order to power the gun. It weighs in at around 2 pounds since it's a full metal gun and it gives you a standard velocity of around 350 feet per second with a .25 BB. Some of the things you're going to notice about the M1911 right off the bat are, number one, it has a lanyard on the bottom of the grip. Now, back in the days of the early 1900s, most of the troops were mounted on horseback, so it was very necessary for them to have a lanyard, so in case you were riding on your horse and shooting at the bad guys, if you accidentally lost your grip on the gun and it fell away, if it was still attached to you by a lanyard, you could easily retain the gun and stay in the fight. Now that may seem like something of a historical holdover, but today's troops like today's Navy SEALs and some other spec ops groups still issue their guns with a lanyard so that even if you lose your grip on the gun, you can retain it as a weapon. This has the standard fixed sight, so it's fairly easy to get good sight acquisition on this gun. It has a grip safety, which allows the gun to not shoot unless this is being depressed on the frame. On the other side, you'll notice it has the standard slide release and thumb safety, which allows you to carry the gun in the cocked and locked format. One of the things that makes the standard M1911 so popular with a lot of operators is that it has a short guide rod inside of the frame on the recoil spring, which allows you to do what's called a press check. So you can actually grab the gun in this fashion and draw the slide back to see if there's a round chambered in it versus having to totally rack the slide and unchamber the round to check whether or not the weapon's loaded or not. One gun that features a lot of upgrades from the standard M1911 is the Colt Commander style WE Desert Warrior. Now this is a metal slide gun with a polymer grip and it's a high capacity magazine so it's a much wider grip on this than the standard M1911. This guy weighs in at one pound, one ounce and it's green gas powered so it's a little cheaper to shoot if you're using the propane option. This gives you a standard velocity of around 350 feet per second with a .25 BB. One of the things you're going to notice about this gun is that it comes with a full length guide rod on the frame. Now you can't press check this gun, but it does give you a little bit better accuracy when you're shooting it. It also has the Novak high rise sights on the back, so it gives you a little bit better sight acquisition for low light shooting conditions. It also has the extended beaver tail safety on the grip, which allows a larger knob so that it's easier to depress the safety, as well as a longer beaver tail so the web of your thumb doesn't get bitten when the hammer comes back. It also has a ambidextrous thumb safety, so you can use it either right-handed or left-handed. It has the tactical rail on the lower frame for adding accessories like flashlights and lasers. And it also has additional knurling on the slide, so it's easier to grab this thing in just about any position and rack the slide. 
Next up is the Well 4.5 gas blowback. This is a metal slide gun with a metal frame, but it gives you a polymer grip in the double stack high capacity kind of format. So you guys out there with bigger hands are gonna like the fatter grip because it gives you a little more gun to hang on to when you're shooting it. This weighs in at one pounds, two ounces, and uses green gas to propel the BB to a standard velocity of around 350 feet per second with a .25 BB. Now for you guys out there that like the more compact sizing of the Colt Commander style guns, you're probably going to prefer the 4.5 gas blowback to some of the larger frame guns that are out there. This basically gives you all of the features of the Desert Warrior that we just showed you. So in addition to the larger beaver tail safety, the ambidextrous thumb safeties, and the Novak sights on the gun, it also gives you a larger lower half of the frame. So compared to the Desert Warrior, you can see it's easier to add bigger accessories onto this like longer flash lights and lasers and that kind of stuff. This also adds a threaded barrel on the end of it, which is kind of silly in my opinion because it kind of defeats the idea of having a compact gun with a giant silencer on the end of it, but don't ask me. I don't make them. I just sell them. If you like a lot of the custom features in a 1911, then you're probably going to prefer the Well 5.1 gas blowback. This also goes by the name of the Dragon made by WE. This is a full-size 1911 that uses green gas in order to drive the full blowback action. This features a metal slide and frame and weighs in at around 1 pound 12 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier than some of the lighter weight, smaller commander guns that are out there. This gives you a standard velocity of around 350 feet per second. Now the Dragon gives you all of the features of the Desert Warrior and the 4.5, but in addition to those features, it also gives you a split slide design, which is a real high-tech race gun design, and it also gives you a ported upper barrel, so it's got a really cool custom look to it. It also includes a fiber optic front sight and a fully adjustable rear sight, so it's easier to dial this gun in and get it a little more accurate than the fixed sight guns that are out there. The Dragon is available in both black silver and the cool two-tone look. Now if you like all of the bells and whistles on a 1911, then you're going to like this tactical high capacity version made by KJW. This basically has all of the accessories that you can put onto a standard 1911 size frame. This is a full metal blowback gun that uses green gas, and because of all of the extra accessories on this thing, it's a little bit heavier than the other guns so it weighs in at around two pounds, so it's a fairly substantial gun. This gives you a standard velocity, once again, of around 350 feet per second. Biggest problem with this is trying to find a holster that it'll fit into. The KJW gives you a traditional style M1911 frame with a high capacity grip. This also comes with the same custom features like the larger beaver tail safety and the thumb safeties on it. But since it has the rail on the gun, we've also added a scope mount with a low profile red dot sight and a high output tactical light on this particular gun. Probably one of the highest quality 1911s that we've seen so far is the Colt Mark IV made by Cybergun. This is a full metal blowback that uses CO2 rather than green gas. It weighs in at one pound eight ounces and because it's CO2 it gives you a standard velocity of around 400 feet per second with a .25 BB. Now this gun has a short guide rod, so it's possible to do a press check on the gun in order to see if it's loaded or not, or to see if there's a round in it, just like any standard 1911. This also has the full metal frame versus some of the other ones that use a polymer lower half of the frame. This is a full metal frame, and by the way, it's in a high capacity format. So once again, you guys with the big fat hands are going to have a little more to grab onto versus some of the narrower single stack magazines that are out there. Now this gun does come with a lot of custom features like the extended beaver tail grip safety, the dual ambidextrous thumb safeties, as well as the additional knurling on the back strap and front strap of the grip, which make it a little bit easier to hold in wet conditions or when you're sweating. This also has the full adjustable rear sight so you can dial the gun in and make it a little more accurate. And if you want to get really crazy, it has the threaded front end of the barrel. So if you want to be one of those James Bond types, you can add a suppressor onto it and turn this into a suppressed weapon. Now, you probably don't need me to point out the fact that the price of ammunition has been going through the roof these days lately. So a lot of guys want a gun that they can train with 
that's the same as their standard gun that they have at home. And a lot of folks prefer the 1911, like I said earlier, because of the larger 45 ACP round. The nice thing about the airsoft guns is you can customize them and trick them out just like the actual guns and add all the accessories you might have on like a home defensive gun or say if you're a police officer and you have your duty weapon you can make your airsoft gun exactly the same so you can train with it and have the same kind of feel for training purposes. One of the really nice things about the 45s is just about every one of the guns that we've shown you have interchangeable magazines so you can take the mag out of the KJW and it will fit into the cyber gun or the WE or the well so it gives you a lot of interchangeability and you can also get CO2 or gas magazines for any one of the guns. So there's a lot of options out there for these things. If you have any more questions, feel free to stop into the showroom. We'll be glad to sit down with you and get you exactly what you want the first time. So until next time, we'll see you then.